It's written in six different languages and it means we are all one. You're watching Go Island and we're here at the Alberni Valley Museum. Erin Vissia Financial Go Island is brought to you by Erin Vissia Financial. Well, hello there. You are watching Go Island and we are here at the Alberni Valley Museum where this amazing exhibit is hanging on the walls. Hi Shukas Sawak, did I say that correctly? Hi Shukas Sawak, we are all one. These are paintings done by children at the Alberni Residential School that have come back that are being honored on the walls here at the museum. And I have one of the artists here, Dennis Thomas, who painted this painting when he was 10 years old. Dennis, how are you today? Good, thank you. Dennis, do you remember the day you painted this? Um, I don't really remember the day that I painted it, but uh, um, uh, Mr. Aller, the, the artist who, who was showing us what to do, he asked me to um, represent uh, my family, how my family is put together. I'm from, uh, I'm a Dididat, from the Dididat Nation, and uh, before I started school, I was living at Nittnet Lake. How does it feel to you to see your art and the art of so many other children coming back and being honored in this way? Oh, it, it makes me feel really good because to me it represents a kind of a repatriation to, to um, how our life used to be on when, before we started school. Yeah. And it's so interesting walking around the walls because they are depictions of how your life used to be, but, but it was at a time when your life had changed so much. That's right, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do you think that art like this can, can speak to, to people that come in? Like, it certainly speaks to me. Do you think yeah. it can, can help, help in the healing process? Yes, it can. Um, uh, before I, <coughs> before um, you and the, the paintings were sent to us by one of the other survivors. And I was looking at mine and I was saying, oh, no, no, I, I don't own that. And, uh, but after a while, I started t looking at it some more. And I could see how, I kind of remember how, how I started painting it and what it represents. Yeah. And were you able to remember how you felt when you were painting it? That You were 10 years old. That's a few years ago, Dennis. Yeah, I know. I don't remember how I felt, but um, I, I remember, I recall um, Mr. Aller helping me with the painting. Um, I was looking at it, uh, how, how the contrast it is on there. And, um, I could clearly see the outline of the face on both sides. It seems like it's like a, a, almost like a balance, uh, a balance wheel yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah. A balance between the dark and yeah, the light. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis, thank you so much. Okay, you're there's, welcome. there's lots more to talk about here because I can't tell you how powerful it is. It's as if these children are speaking to us. Now, it is Go Island, so before we talk to another artist, we're gonna send you to a story. I'll bet you there's plenty of you out there who have always wanted to try and play hockey but never thought you could. Well, Jenny Fortin's gonna give you a chance. Well, welcome back. You are still watching Go Island. We are still here at the Alberni Valley Museum with the We Are All One exhibit. This is art done by children in residential schools um, that has been repatriated, if you like, brought back and honored in this gallery as an exhibit. And I'm here with another artist, Charlie August, who was eight years old when you did this painting. Charlie, how are you? Oh, doing fine, thanks. Excellent. Charlie, how did it feel to you to have your work that you had done so many years ago brought back in this way for this exhibit? Oh, well, when I first seen this picture up at the Athletic Hall quite a while ago, uh, excited, and then, okay, what's my painting doing there? I had never seen it since, well, I didn't remember doing it really, sorry, but um, the reason I recognize this is that I used to do that before I went to residential school. I used to be a painter, uh, doing my own drawings back then. So. 
And you said that this was this was an image that that came to you in dreams. It was it was a strong image for you. Yes, uh, this one here is, is Mare's Island, and this is what I used to do uh, because my grandfather back in the day when I first started walking, he used to take up take me out fishing, and I see visions, and that's when I started painting. So this is Mare's Island, different colors. So excellent, and. You know, when I walk through this gallery, these paintings really do speak to me. It's as if those children, that child you were, has a chance to speak again. Do you feel that as well? Yes, I do, and it's awesome. I just had uh, three more paintings put up for a friend of mine. He's, he must have had a stroke, so I call his sister. I'm really, I feel good. I know there's a lot of colors on our paintings. A lot of them, it's like my, 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 my painting. It's awesome, it's an awesome feeling. It's a good place to be. So. It is a good place to be. And do you feel like this is part of the healing process? Not not all of it, but part of it. Yes, I, I believe it's all of it here. That what uh, makes me stronger. Um, I'm yet to bring my children to see the exhibit and stuff like that, and talk to them about what happened in my paintings. So I'm anxious for him to come over. So. And as you walked around the room, you know most of these children, most of the names you would know. Yes, uh, it's coming back. I uh, like uh, I was here before and I seen it. I can't remember at the uh, athletic hall. Then I seen it the second time. Well, yes, I remember them. Um, a lot of them are gone, and I brought up we're all one. Mm -hmm. Reason I saying I First Nations say that all the time, and I'm speaking for the ones that passed on. I'm speaking for them too. They know it's still one. They know they some of them, they know it's here, so we're all one, even though they're gone. So you've got to remember that, so. Oh, Charlie, thank you so much, and ch thank you for the work that you and Dennis and so many people have done to get this exhibit on the walls. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It's awesome. Well, welcome back. You are still watching Go Island. We are still here at the Alberni Valley Museum. And just like I promised, we're going to tell you a little bit more about the We Are All One exhibit that is currently hanging here. So, of course, we're talking to Jamie Morton. Jamie, this is quite an exhibit. It is really wonderful to have this exhibit here. It's taken a lot of uh, effort on part of a lot of people to make it happen. And, and just to, to give you an idea of how it all came together, Robert Aller was the volunteer art teacher at the Alberni Indian Residential School, late 50s, early 60s. He offered a class that was voluntary, but it gave the kids an option to do something that they couldn't have done otherwise in the environment they were in. Now, his papers were left to the University of Victoria, and Dr. Andrea Walsh, visual anthropologist there, basically saw that this was something that did have a great deal of power. These images could be used to help in the, in the reconciliation process and took it forward on that basis. These images have all, the, the original paintings and materials have all been repatriated to the families or to the original artists. A lot of them have left them in the, in the uh, hands of UVic to basically work with and use in exhibits like this. All this has been done totally with the direction and the support of the artists or their families. So this, what you see here is, is something where the survivors of the residential school experience have been able to take back some of their experience and present it to the community at large. That's what makes this so special, is that they have been brave enough and had enough strength to share what were very uncomfortable times in many cases using these wonderful paintings as a way to express um, what, what they were going through at the time. So it is, it's very special in that way. Again, without, without people like Charles August and Dennis Thomas who are willing to come forward and share this experience, none of this would have been possible. What we're so delighted about is what you see here, the way that it's set up, the pictures that are used in the exhibit, it's all with the direction of the survivors group. It's them that has steered the whole thing, it's them that has the power, and there's no way that the Alberni Valley Museum could have done this without the full participation of, of these people. It's something, it's so sensitive, it's so personal, we just couldn't have gotten into it otherwise. So I just really want to commend all the people that have, have contributed to this being here. 
It's a wonderful opportunity for the community to get a bit more of the story of the residential school and also just to see a great exhibit. It, it, they are wonderful images and they really do say something about what these, these children were going through. Absolutely. Now, we're here today. How long will the exhibit be on the walls? The exhibit's up until March 7th of next year, so got all winter to see it. We're hoping we're going to get a lot of school groups coming through. There's been some already, and we hope for a lot more because as an educational opportunity, it's just fantastic. <laughs>